Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coin Pusher. Uh, today the uh, manager spoke to me, he wanted me to do a $100 million buy-in. And I told him I did not want to. So we, he talked me into uh, doing a, a one quarter challenge for $10 million. Oh my gosh, it, it actually wins. Wow. I thought we'd lost it all there for a second. It looked like it, didn't it? Wow, we're in the game. So yeah, we got $10 million in this game now. So super expensive. Well, we got one quarter to start with. I'm hoping we can uh, get it to go. Oh my, three quarters back. Yeah, they're, they're getting pretty desperate to uh, get us to lose our money. Oh my goodness. Got that mystery bag on the edge. Yeah, there for a minute he was talking about a $200 million buy-in. I'm like, no. I'm looking more like a $10 million, bub. So he and I decided we would do a $10 million for one quarter. Which is still outrageous. I mean, goodness. I was, drop of a hat, we could have lost $10 million. I guess the drop of a quarter, I guess, technically. It turned out we got super lucky. This person good now. So he, he's going to be out something. I don't know what he's stuck in there. It, it'll be his, most likely his, uh, his personal ride again. Let's see, what do we got so far from him? Let's see that. Oh, uh, we got that uh, 2023 um, Chevrolet 3500 HD with a 30-foot trailer. Oh my gosh, this is doing good. And then uh, next time he he tried to get a bunch of money out of us. What did we get? What was it? Oh, it was a Hummer. It was a Humvee. One of those uh, yeah, Humvees. So who knows what we're going to get this time. But that was the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters real quick. Get right back to pushing. Oh, wow. Nice, we done pulled a little over a half a million dollars. Uh, 34 ounces of gold and, and we got one mystery bag so far. There's another one right over here. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how much this guy makes. It, you know, it might be a moped as far as I know, or a bicycle. I mean, he's got to be running out of things to, to give us, I would think. He might, who knows, I mean, he works here, he, he might be rich. He might have all kinds of stuff. We'll figure it out here soon if we can win it. Whatever it is, it's probably going to be in one of them mystery bags. And if I was him, I would have put it up there on them red shelves and make, make me pay a little extra. So, it's probably one of them mystery bags up there on the red shelves. But he did say it was keys. There would be keys in one of the mystery bags to something. That's, that's the deal. They want me to do the great big buy-in. He's going to have to shell out or fork out a little bit of his own, you know. Just put a little bit of his own risk in there. I, I'm putting enough risk, I think, to just doing the... Seems like a normal game now to, to spend a million dollars on one quarter. But just a few months ago, a year ago, I think it was about five grand was the max. And he has, he has talked us all the way up to a hundred million dollars. He's trying to get us to do a two hundred million dollar buy-in.
I don't even know if I got that much in my account. I, I don't really check it too often. I know it's, en it's enough, so... It's enough to do what I want. Oh my goodness, that big tower on the pusher. I think it was moving around quite a bit. But we're out of quarters though. Let me grab the quarters real quick. Nice, we pulled a little over 1.1 million dollars on that round. We also got 20 ounces of gold on the dock. Doing amazing. Let's keep her going. We got a bunch of quarters now. That right side is about to go. Is it all on screen? Let me fix it so it's a little more on screen. All right, that's about as good as I can get. I just feel like that right corner is about to go. I don't want you to all miss it. We got the left corner cleared off, don't we? There's a blue mystery bag over there on the right. There's a quarter tower. And then a whole bunch of five and ten thousand dollar chips on gold bars. And that big old tower on the pusher. It's done lost one of its thousand dollar chips. You can see it down there. So that's always good. That's a good sign right there that it's oh my two more just went out of it. Fell out of the bottom of it. It's a real good sign that it's about to go. It normally it'll about the fourth. The seventh one, it, it falls over. So we got somewhere around one more to go, to three more. Oh, nice. Generally, they don't, they don't hold me to it, but that is probably. We got somewhere between one to three more chips to fall out of there to go, and it probably is going to fly across the screen. Hopefully, crack the glass. I'm still waiting for that day when it breaks the glass. We've had it so close. It definitely looked like it was going to. It was bulging and everything. It was like stuck there for like a couple minutes. It was amazing. You hadn't seen that one. Uh, oh, I don't know how you'd find it. I'm not sure how I would find it. Probably go to my channel and... Uh, Sort by uh, most viewed videos. Mm, I think we'll put a short of it. We only made like seven shorts or something in total. So you could watch one of the shorts. It'll, it should be pretty obvious, I think. It's probably the thumbnail. You can't really make the thumbnails for the shorts. But if you can, I don't know how to. Uh, it's just automatically generated. But it'll probably be a great big tower, just like we see right now. This, it's standing straight up in the center. It'll either be standing straight up or, or falling over or something. Just look for one like that. It's just a like a, a real short version of the full version of the video. Like I said, if, if I can find the video, I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description area. We're, we're getting to the point where we got so many videos, it's hard to find a particular one. Oh my goodness, there it is. Oh, it's stuck. That is not me. That is stuck. That puppy is jammed up against the glass. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. Let's let's try pushing the skill stop. Maybe all the weight of it will, will get it to push backwards a little, but it's pretty much all the way down. Sweet, sweet. That works. Nice. Wow. Yeah, pretty much that's that's what I what was in that short video was, was that. So I guess you don't need to go look for it because pretty much the same thing. And you can go watch it if you want. But. Yeah, that was awesome. Um 
Still got about a thousand quarters to go. So this should be a really good round. We're gonna stay on this far right. I believe we got the mystery bag. Yeah, we did. It's not over on that far right corner anymore. How's the uh, camera angle looking? Is that all right, or should I? Should I tilt it down a little bit? Let me wait till it quits switching and we'll, we'll try fixing it. How about that? Is that better or worse? Let me, please let me know. We need to figure it out what's the good angles. Because it's, you know, it's for you. It's for your enjoyment. I'm going to play the coin pusher regardless. But, uh, I figured I'd let y'all follow along with me in this journey of pushing, pushing quarters. I'll have a good time with it. I just thought I'd share it with the world. And, uh, this isn't me uh, trying to uh, convince anyone to play a coin pusher. I'd prefer you not, actually. Really dangerous and risky. You, know, you can lose a lot of money real quick. We, we just about lost 10 million on this one. Well, you've seen it. it. It looked like it was gonna lose 10 million for sure. We just got lucky. Super lucky. There's a lot of losses involved. A lot. Definitely don't want to see anyone ever doing this, so please don't. Uh, with all that legal stuff out of the way, I hope you're all enjoying the videos. And that's the last of the quarter, so let me grab some more. Oh yeah, we pulled a little, what was it, a little more? Yeah, a little over $900,000 on that now. It's doing really good. Let's uh, stay on this right side. See if we can't get her going. That's, that's a lot of weight over there. But we'll give it a whirl. Oh, nice. Did you see it move? I did. I believe I did, anyhow. Been uh, showing the whatever we've been winning from that manager, like his personal belongings that we've been winning. We've been showing those on uh, a whole separate channel. It's called Scrapper Joe. Um, I own that channel, I guess you could say. But anyhow, we really haven't used it much. I made it years ago, but uh, I didn't get a lot of traction, and there was. There were some other channels that were way better. So I can congratulate them for doing such a good job. We focused more on the uh, coin pushing. But anyhow, on the, the other channel called Scrapper Joe, that's where we've been showing what we've been winning. Like we'll show like a, probably a five or 10 second clip of it on the, like the very end of the video if we get it. Cause I think it's in one of these mystery bags. The keys are. And if we win it, I'll probably just show like a five or ten second clip of it. So, yeah, this channel is about coin pushing, but uh, we'll, we'll go a little further in depth to it on the Scrapper Joe channel. So if, you, if you're not subscribed to Scrapper Joe, it really doesn't matter to me. But um, you know, if, if you want to follow along with, see what we've won. And, uh, you know, we might have to do some repairs or something to some of this stuff that we get. I know the, uh, the Chevrolet 3500, it, it needs a little bit of work done to it. It's brand new. I can't remember how many miles it had on it, like 3,000 miles or something. But anyways, I've, I've seen some stuff I wanted to fix on it. 
And uh, if you want to follow along and as we fix the things and modify them, and, you know, it, it's not going to be real consistent. That's why I was saying you might want to just subscribe because that way you'll get, you'll get notified when we do finally upload a video on that channel. Give it a thought. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just trying to help you all out. I get a lot of a lot of comments asking for the link to the video because they they couldn't uh, find it, which, which I understand. I do. I, I'm not complaining at all. But uh, it just shows that there's people that do want to see it, but they don't know how to see it. So if you when you do finally get to it, you'll hit that subscribe button. At least that time, that way you'll know. You might even be able to find out uh, that we'd won something before we aired on this channel. I might accidentally upload it too soon. Because uh, you know, the, the videos are normally recorded and, and then edited and, and then YouTube does its thing, and it takes a good 10 to 12 hours sometimes to do the editing and the uploading and whatnot. Sometimes longer, it just depends. Sometimes you gotta wait a day or two before it's read, actually ready. But sometimes we're a few days ahead. And, uh, so yeah, you might, you might get a sneak peek at something that no one else has even known what we got yet, just by subscribing to Scrapper Joe. Oh my goodness, that quarter tower just started going, but unfortunately that was the last of the quarters. Did you just see that? That was so close too. Wow. Well, let me grab some quarters and we'll keep her going. Nice. We pulled $21,000 on that round. Let's uh, keep her on this right side. Um, there's been a lot of people suggest to try the skill stop out. I don't think it's really going to work on this machine like you're all thinking it will. I know uh, Ryan's been doing the skill stop and it's been working out really well for him. But uh, this one has that extra layer of, of glass that's stuck in there. Um, you can kind of see it. It's this little square box right here. But anyways, that, I think they did that on purpose, so people can't uh, stack it all up really, really tall and get run on the pushes. I think this will actually end up clogging the whole machine up, and uh, we'll end up having to call them back here and have them fix it. But we'll give it a shot, because we, I bet you I've had 800 people ask me to do this. And they, you know, of course, all 800 of them know better than I do. So instead of uh, arguing with you, we'll just find out for sure. Here it is. That is a thousand quarters. So let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, hopefully it works. You know, I really do. I hope it works. But uh, as expected, I, I, oh my gosh, look at that. It broke it. Wow. See that? They broke it. Over there, they ripped the whole thing out. See it? I don't know if they're going to be really mad at me for that or not. Okay, well, I've got another thousand quarters. Let's uh, stick another thousand in there now that it's... Maybe you guys are onto something. Maybe, um... Oh, nice, we got that quarter tower. Oh, I didn't sort my quarters at all in this basket. Um, yeah, there's like $1,000 ships everywhere. Oh, well, let's stick them in anyways. $1,000 ships. It shouldn't matter. The way that it broke, I would assume it would just push it on through. Let's get another 1,000 quarters in there. So this will be 2,000 quarters up here. This might actually do some good if it doesn't break something else. <laughs> Who knows what else could break? We could totally crack that glass back there. 
All right, that was another thousand. So let's let's see what this will do. Oh my goodness, it's feeding it. Oh, it's moving. You see it? It's definitely moving. Let me grab a couple quarters. Got another, I don't know, 300 or so. Oh, I just dropped almost all of them down the front of the machine. Oh yeah, it's clogged it up bad. It's like completely ripping that thing off too. <laughs> They are not going to be happy. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is not what I expected. <laughs> maybe, maybe, that, maybe that'll teach them to make something a little more robust, right? I mean, wow, it definitely worked though. Good job, Ryan, for showing me that trick. And I appreciate all 800 of you that brought it to my attention. I just didn't, didn't expect the machine to break to be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the last of the quarters. Let me, let me grab the quarters real quick. We'll try to get the rest of it out of there. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Like I said, I don't know what they're going to do uh, about uh, the machine being all destroyed. But, uh, yeah. Thanks all to the subscribers for uh, mentioning that. And, and, uh, and to Ryan. Ryan is uh, the name. I believe that's his name anyways. That's what he goes by. On ANV Coin Fisher. If you haven't checked his channels out, or his channel out, which I'm sure you've seen his videos, but He's fantastic as he plays the coin pusher also. Yeah, swing on over there. Tell him hi and if you uh, don't watch his videos. It's a good experience. Look at that. You see that? There's like a, there's a thing in there, like some sort of mechanism. Yeah, those thousand dollar chips, um, those are the ones we accidentally, let me, let me do the quotation, accidentally uh, dropped in the machine. I think you're supposed to use right hand and left hand when you do that, but I had quarters in the other hand, so. Um, I think we ought to check out the mystery bag. Yeah, let me get the last of the quarters in. There's a couple right here. There they are. And uh, let's check out those mystery bags. We got two of them. And wow, oh wow, those are big. Those are some pretty full. Mystery bag. Let's check them out. Let's see what they got in there. Oh, sweet! This is the green earbud. I know most of you know about what these are, but for the the new people, uh, the green earbud essentially everything that's been on those red shelves. You turn this in, and, and they'll give us all that stuff. They don't actually hand it to us, but they'll set it in the machine. So that's the twenty million dollar find because it costs two times the buy-in to get the red shelves. So we paid 10 million, so that's 20 million bucks right there. We don't actually get any cash value. You can't, you can't cash them in for nothing, but uh, we, we can definitely use it towards the red shelves. So that's awesome. And there's something else here. And I think it's gonna be the 1025 chip. Let's check it out. Oh, nice, that is the 1025 chip. Indeed it is, that is awesome. So what this does is it unlocks a new feature Everything that's been falling down that hole and that hole right there, we call them the gutters. But the stuff that's been falling down there, uh, they'll set it back in the playing field when we turn that chip in, and we'll get a second chance at all everything that's falling down there. So that is awesome. Let's check out this here, Mr. Bag. See what they got in here. Oh my gosh. We got one of these yesterday. Sweet. 
So this is the pink earbud. I think they it's they didn't have an orange one. I'm guessing. So, but this is supposed to represent the uh, ten thousand dollar chips. It's not exactly the same color, but uh, that's what that is. Is uh, oh, well, no, I didn't tell you really. Sorry, my bad. Um, what this is is because it's the orange one. That is orange. No, no, it's pink. Pink. I'm not by color blind. I'm not sure. But uh, it'll give us a tower made out of $10,000 chips. Sorry, I messed the focus up there for a second. Um, but the $10,000 chips, they'll build an entire tower out of them. They'll put it in the playing field somewhere, or they'll build seven towers made out of them. Who knows? We don't get to pick, but all we got to do is turn this in and they'll do that. So that's phenomenal. That could be a couple of million extra dollars in our pockets. So I think we ought to go ahead Turn the green earbud in, get the red shelves reset. They'll put it all in the playing field. And then later on, we'll use those other bonus chips and, and earbuds. So we'll, we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. We uh, turned in that green earbud. We also paid a hundred grand for the insurance. They, they did come back and, and reset the machine. Obviously, they took everything off the red shelves. Uh, they took that, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. That, that thing that was up there in the front that we broke off. They took it completely out of the machine. So, I don't know if they're going to put it back in or not, but that just kind of left. So, we got lucky. They, they didn't really care. They said it wasn't the first time. So I don't know if they're going to put it back on or not. They, they took it all completely out of there. That was the first time I'd ever seen it. But, well, apparently it's pretty common. They just kind of giggled. They actually uh, mentioned um, Andy's channel. Said that that's what most people say. So, I guess I'm not the only one that's uh, watching his videos. You might you might want to check it out. Doing good though. What is it? One, two, three, four mystery bags. Oh my gosh, that whole tower just toppled backwards. Oh yeah, making it rain, making it rain. It's gonna be all kinds of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Gold bars galore. Mr. Bags are super close to the edge. Seen a five thousand dollar chip go down the right gutter. That's why they got that ten twenty five chip. Get another chance at that. Hey, they want a mystery bag. We just got one. Wait. on the edge. That is incredible the amount. Goodness, we're getting some nice pushing going on. Alright, 
there are the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters real quick. Nice. We put a little over $1.6 million on that round. And I think it was 22 ounces of gold. It's quite a bit. Let's check out one of these mystery bags, see what's in there. Oh my goodness, what is that? Three of the white and three of the gold. That is awesome. Three and three right there, baby. Nice. Let's get another one. Let's see if we can find the one that has the manager's keys in it. I bet you it's this one, the ginormous one right here. This thing is massive. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, you can even see the key hanging out. Look at that. All right, let's see. Well, it's a bunch of keys, kind of like last time. Well, that one time. All right, we got a smart, a smart also. C and H, uh, Cooper and Hunter, I'm assuming. I mean, you know this, HVAC. Uh, that looks similar. Oh, that's a Ford, yep. This guy must like Fords. But no, it was Chevy last time, wasn't it? It says right there. F. Can you guys read that? F-150, right there. So it's an F-150, I'm assuming. And then I couldn't tell you what the rest of this, this is. We'll figure it out here in a moment, sometime throughout the game. That is awesome. Let's check out, see what else is in there. Oh my goodness, but three more of the white dice and a golden dice. This is gonna be a massive win. We've still got two more mystery bags. Wow, we'll check those out here in a moment. So, keep it going. And we probably should have done an insurance claim, huh? That's all right. Actually, we don't have to do an insurance claim. We got a, excuse me, um, what's it called? Um, we got the pink earbud, which gets us a free tower. And every free tower comes with a free reset. So, it doesn't come with a red, like the red shelves, they cost two times the buy-in. You have to pay that if you want the red shelves. But after that, you can, you can get the insurance, which we did. So now it only costs us 10 grand for each time we want to get the stuff off the red shelves. Just for this one game. Or when you turn in one of the mirror buds to get a tower, they also do a reset. And we all would we get everything off the red shelf. So we'll do that. We'll save our uh, insurance deductible. It's $10,000, so might as well save it in case the big old tower. Who knows what they're gonna build. It's gonna be something. Well, I guess they could just lay them out a bunch of like, uh, like a pepperoni pizza or something. But, uh, it's, it's hard to say. Let's try to push out as much as this we can. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a, a little, according to the label, it's an F-150. He must have just got it for it to have uh, that little thing on there. Oh, maybe he's a hoarder. Maybe he's got lots of vehicles. And he just hangs them in like a big key box. It had a, you see that? It had a big number on it, too. Let's see if I can make that out. Man. Wow, that was, that was a good push. Let's see if I can make that out, see what that says. Oh, almost, almost lost a mystery bag. Yeah, look. Hopefully I'm not giving out any secret information, but it says six slash seven zero one six one seven F one fifty. I don't I don't know, does that, does that mean anything? Or is that just like probably his uh, his way of organizing them or something? 
Or maybe the dealership's way and he just never removed it? I don't know, that's news. That's new to me. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, I've seen those little tags, yes. But not, not on a, not on a personal car. I, I just said I used to be in maintenance for 20 years. And uh, we would use those things for all kinds of stuff. But I guess it was mostly keys. We had a key box. Goodness, there must have been. No, probably not a thousand. At least four, at least four or five hundred keys in there. Each one of them had one of those on it. The thing was huge. Ours were just labeled one. The very first key was one, and then as you get, I got more keys, we would label it two, and then so forth and so forth all the way up to three or four hundred, wherever it landed at. Of course, was, one wasn't even there anymore. We done lost it or, or they sold it or whatever. Um, let me uh, call them back here. We'll turn in that deer bud and get that big old $10,000 tower. That's going to be a big one, hopefully. Alrighty, I'm back. We turned in that... Uh, that pink earbud, orange earbud, I don't know. But anyways, like, it's the $10,000 chip earbud, more or less. That's what it represents. So they built us uh, three towers made out of $10,000 chips. I don't know how much that is, but it looks like quite a bit. $10,000 chips, uh, yeah, it can add up to a bunch pretty quick. And they took those $5,000 chips that were on the red shelf and moved them into the playing field. I believe we've still got two mystery bags we need to check out. If I remember right. I know we got at least one more to check out. We got a bonus game to play. We gotta go check out a vehicle and a bunch of keys too come with a whole bunch of keys that's kind of how the Chevy was it, it had all kinds of keys with it was it a Chevy or a GMC I don't know I don't know if there's any difference between the two I'm not trying to um, say anything negative about either one because I, I just don't know the difference positive or negative just I don't know. But, uh, we lost quite a bit to that red shelf. But luckily we got the insurance. So we should be able to get all that back. It'll cost us $1,000, one ten thousand dollar chip. So, so that, that is kind of a bummer, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We should be all right. Uh, I, I did go and ask them how much we had in our account because I was kind of curious being that we uh, discussed it earlier how I did had no idea how much was in there and guess how much there was I was n I really had no idea but we had 201 million dollars so if, if we would have went with that 200 million dollar bet with the manager and if we would have lost we would only have had a million bucks in our account. I'm sure he was hoping I would go for it. And uh, luckily we didn't. I mean, yeah, hindsight, you know, we, we're winning the, the game. But that is super risky. We we about lost it all. If, every time we we'd start one of these games, it's darn near a loss, you know. It's just it's too risky. You have to keep an eye on that uh, count balance. 
they about duped us bad. We would have been back in the playing uh, five hundred dollar games most likely until we got our account back up. It took us years to get to where we're at. Years and years. Yeah, we win a lot. But there's a whole bunch of losses that have occurred. In a day, it's, it's unbelievable how much we lose. But, uh, we're doing all right. We, it turned out we got like 200 million in the bank. We just got to make sure not to give it all to the manager. But that was the last of the quarters. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make an insurance claim, get this stuff over here on the red shelves moved, and then uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Nice. We pulled $865,000 on that round. It's doing amazing. Uh, we, we turned in that insurance claim. Had them uh, reset the machine. Uh, looks like we got pretty lucky. They didn't actually move, from what I can tell, they didn't move anything other than the stuff that was on the red shelves. They put it into the playing field. The rest of it's probably the same place. It's pretty good. It would have been nice if, if they would have moved that $10,000 chip away from the gutter. But Luckily we got the 1025 chip. Yeah, this has been a pretty good game. We got it uh oh, speaking of that. I was gonna sorry, I was talking in my head. I was gonna say we got uh, mystery bags to open up. But it didn't come out. But yeah, let's well, let's wait for that push. Alright, let's check out this mystery bag. Oh my goodness, what is that? Three, four, five more of the white dice? Oh my gosh. This is going to be a huge win. Well, the guy was expecting us to, to bet $200 million, so... I wonder if he didn't change anything and just left it for a $200 million game. Wouldn't that be nice? Pay $10, $10 million and... Possibly get. Let's see, I think we pulled like eight hundred million dollars last time we did a hundred million dollar bet. That'd be nice. Get the count up to a billion dollars. Joe the billionaire. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet. We'll see. See how it goes. It's got me kind of curious now, though. And the, the dice got to land on good numbers, though. It, it doesn't really matter how many dice you got. They, they all happen to land on ones, and you know, you don't get nothing. Not well, nothing extra. You, you can't lose money by by rolling a one. You just miss out on on extra money. I, I, I really want to check that other mystery bag. Let's do it. Let's check the last one. I'm pretty sure this is the last one anyways. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Four more of the white and a golden dice. Oh my gosh. This is gonna... This is gonna be a big one. Hopefully it's a new world record. I mean, it's gonna be hard to beat. $800 million profit. Well, actually, I think... Because we've spent so much, we only pulled like 700 profits. This might be a new world record. We've got a... <laughs> we've, we've accomplished quite a bit in this game. We we was able to put 2,000 quarters down the loot shoot or down the pay thing. Or whatever you want to call that. We was able to put 2,000 quarters in at once. Broke the machine. Darn near cracked the glass when that big old tire fell. We won the manager's F-150. And a bunch of keys to something. And now we might be getting a new world record win on top of all of that. 
cheap. Technically, it is the most expensive game we've ever spent on a one quarter challenge. $10 million is a lot for one quarter. I think it's going to pay off pretty good. We just about got it all cleared out. And then we'll be rolling those dice. Goodness. So I'm going to. I'm going to grab a couple more quarters because that right there is the last of them. See if we can't get all this right here cleared out of there real quick. All right, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to count, see how much that was. We pulled $920,000 out of there. So it looks like it's right around $1 million. That's what, that, what them towers totaled up to. That was completely free from that uh, earbud. Pinkish looking earbud. I don't know why they. They should just like spray paint it orange or something at this point because I can tell the difference. It's not. There's no way that's pink or uh, orange. Those are. That's orange. Yeah, they're. They got definitely using a pink earbud and passing it off as orange. Ah, oh, sweet. We got it all out of there though. Nice. So let me uh, grab them dice. Have them. Uh, I'll put them right back here. There's going to be a bunch of them. Maybe a new record of dice too. It's hard to say. And then uh, whatever they land on down here is what our multipliers are. So let's, let's get to it. Alrighty. Let's push these dice on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some ginormous numbers. They, they did tell me that uh, there was a max payout of one billion dollars on this game. That was the most they were willing to pay. And they would prefer obviously to pay nothing. But uh, they did pre-warn me um, that this particular game has a max payout of one billion. So it is possible that we might have may win may walk out with one billion dollars. That'd be awesome if we do. I hope we do. I don't even know if we'll even get close to that. But they, they just wanted to make it known. Oh my gosh, look at those numbers. There's some good ones. And we got a, a dud here or two. Oh no, we only got one dud. So we got two sixes, two fours. Oh my gosh, a bunch of fours now. What? <laughs> We got four more dice to push in there. Hopefully we don't lose that four over on the right. Oh, nice. We should be safe. All right. We're going to tally it all up. We're going to multiply it all by that right there. And we'll be right back. Nice. We ended up pulling $6,982,000 out of there. And them dice totaled up to 60. So we got to multiply it all by 60. Turn it into an astounding $418,920,000. That's incredible. It ain't quite no billion, but it's still an awful lot of money. Not to mention, we also got 133 ounces of gold. And them golden dice totaled it up to 15, so we got to multiply it all by 15. Turned it into 1,995 ounces of gold. That's incredible. Well, let's get on to this uh, 1025 bonus game. Hopefully it's just as good as this one, if not better. Alrighty, here we are. We're playing that uh, 1025 bonus game. That poor lady, I feel sorry for her. She, uh, she won't let me stand real close to her or nothing, but from a distance I can hear her. Uh, she got really upset, screamed and kicked the machine. She built some great big elaborate thing and it fell over. And she did it twice. And I, I told her, I was like, damn, it's not that big of a deal. And, you know, we'll, we'll still play it if it's not something super fancy. She was kind of new. And, uh, yeah. Well, we, she was getting pretty upset. I, luckily, we were able to calm her down. 
all all's good now. She's she's happy. But uh, no big towers on the miss on the uh, 10:25 bonus game. So she just was, wasn't a, wasn't having a good day. That's for sure. But hopefully her day gets better. I feel sorry for him building all these great big old towers just for me to knock them down. It's not just me, but people just demolish them in seconds. Anyways, I bet you I sit there 45, 50 minutes uh, waiting for her to uh, eventually just get upset. Totally okay. If I'm not building these great big old elaborate things. I know it looks cool and all, but you know they I'm sure their hands hurt by the end of the day. Meanwhile we're making a fortune. We are indeed making a fortune. Especially for a free game, uh, this this is the 1025 game. It's always a free game. It doesn't even cost anything to get the red shelves cleared off. So there's a ten thousand dollar ship on the red shelf. All we gotta do is call him back here. Just set it right back in the playing field. You don't no ten thousand dollar deductible or nothing. You don't have to buy no insurance. As many times as you want. It, the only thing is it has to actually have some value on the red shelves more than just quarters. They won't reset it for quarters alone. But if there's a gold bar on there, a mystery bag, or chips, even if it was a $10 chip, they would still reset it. Can't be for a quarter only. But since there's that $10,000 chip on there, they'll, they'll probably put the quarters in the plane floor. But only because of the fact that there's that $10,000 chip. We're pretty good. We did lose uh, a gold bar to that right gutter for sure. I see that. It didn't actually fall all the way in, but it's stuck in there. Uh, right there's the last of the quarters. Let me grab the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Wow, we done pulled $970,000 on this round. On that first round alone. And 16 ounces of gold. Oh, sweet, we got the mystery bag. It, it's stuck in there. It, it worked its way down. Oh, goodness. We should have called him back and have him get that $10,000 chip. What was I thinking? Goodness. That's all right. We'll get it here in a minute. I done pushed the button. This should be here soon, hopefully. Oh, that's the best we can do. Just wait for him to get back over here. Got the right side and the center cleared off. We just got to work on this, this left side. Oh yeah, it's pushing amazing. What, $30,000 and a gold bar in there. Well, I'm not counting the 10 grand that's over there on the red shelf. They're walking up now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let them uh, reset the machine. And we'll, we'll get right back to it. All right, let's check out this mystery bag. See what's in there. Hopefully, something real nice. A whole bunch of dice, preferably. 
Oh, sweet. Two, two of the white dice and one of the golden dice. That's going to be a pretty good game, I think. I pulled quite a bit out of here. What was it like? We like pulled like, well, right around a million dollars, I think. We got how many? Two? Yeah, two dice. No, three. I can't tell. Yeah, two white and one gold. Sorry. I know I just told you like eight seconds before that. I had forgotten. So we potentially we could win up to twelve million dollars, a little over twelve million, if both of them land on a six. Um, not sure how much gold we've pulled out of here. It's a truckload of gold for sure. So we could get like six truckloads of gold. Not technically, but this we can win up to six times the amount of gold that we pull out of here. I guess it depends on what size of truck you had. A really small truck, maybe six of them. Anyhow, there's a it looks to me like forty thousand dollars and one ounce of gold. Let's get it out of there. now and it's right there in the center the center normally pushes pretty good so hopefully it'll stay true and push real nice for it Don't forget, uh, after this is over and we roll them dice and everything and tally it all up, uh, stay tuned for, uh, we'll, we'll show whatever it was we, we had, uh, what are those keys work for, so stay tuned for that. Don't shut it off as soon as uh, I tell you how much we won. All right, so let me, uh, let me call them back here. They'll set them dice in there and then we'll, we'll roll them dice. Alrighty, they got them dice in there. Hopefully they'll land on some great big numbers. We we want triple sixes. Preferably. Probably not gonna happen, but it could. We can dream. Looks like the gold's up first. Oh, it's so close. Here we go. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, nice, a five. Wow. That's the next best thing to a six. Oh my goodness, speaking of sixes, we got one. Nice, and a three, I'll take a three. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That, that was almost a five, wasn't it? On the on that far left, Let's push a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's a five. Indeed, that is. Sweet, awesome. I know it may not look like it from your angle. Oh, those residual quarters knocked it over to a one. That's all right. We still got a six and a five. We, we did lose that one there, though. That's a dud. It happens. That's that's just the way it is sometimes. So let me tally it all together. Multiply by that, and we'll be right back. Nice. We ended up pulling one million one hundred and forty thousand dollars out of there, and that dice landed on a six. So we got to multiply it all by six, turned it into six million eight hundred and forty thousand dollars. 
That's awesome. Not to mention the gold. Totaled it up to 20, and uh, that multiplier, I believe it was a five, right? Oh yeah, sure was. Turned it into 100 ounces of gold. That's a bunch of gold. All in all, that's not bad for a completely free game. Not bad at all. Well, if y'all enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, we got to look at that, uh, whatever those keys go to. Let's check that out real quick. That is the the truck and, and trailer. Oh, and stump grinder, sorry. Uh, it's a pretty good little win right there, I would say. Uh, it's nice talking with y'all. I'm going to get home and uh, get these videos edited so y'all get to see them. Uh, Y'all take care.